up today. This is, to be honest, a very surreal moment for me, you know, looking around here and I, I was telling Teresa, I've got to get used to, you know, these colors and this weather and, uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff that I, that I as a coach have to get used to. The, the one thing that, you know, when I was first learned about the opportunity here, I felt it paralleled the previous three opportunities that I have taken throughout my career, and in which I, you know, left very established programs. All of them, we had played at a national championship level. Uh, we, I left them when they were in good shape, and I decided to come to another program that I felt had the potential to reach that level and reach, you know, the situation where the young men that we coach and that we recruit can first of all graduate from school but in my in my mind play at a level where they can compete at their fullest reach their potential and play at the national championship level and there's no mistake about it I, I remember you know sitting down with the hiring committee and telling them that that's my goal. I have two motives for all my kids. I want them to graduate, but I want them to have a shot at a ring, at a championship ring. And that if if that was too extreme, then they were they had the wrong guy in the meeting. Um, I was assured through the interview process. I felt confident through the interview process. And, and now I'm here to get to work. And it's, it's gonna be a challenge. Uh, again, I'm the new guy in, but I'm the one that's going to, you know, be charged with coming in, changing the culture here, bringing in a level of excellence that I feel is necessary to, to be successful. And, um, you know, I've, I've given up a lot to come here, and, and the people in this room can be reassured that the fact that I am here means that I was convinced that this program is ready to take that next step. And so I'm looking forward to working with the department, working with the young men that are currently in the program, with the alumni to build the alumni, because today's game parallels in your ability to raise and generate revenue. And that's, that's just a fact. That if you want you know, to be playing in November, against the, the schools like Laval, Montreal, Calgary, you have to be able to generate the necessary resources. And uh, I'm looking for it. I'll attack that as passionately as I do recruiting and with the coaching on the field. So, Teresa, I am nervous, I'll tell you. Okay, I, I have, oh, Teresa, sorry, Ashley, sorry. And I'll just recognize Coach Smith here too, because I think Coach Smith and I, are a lot alike, okay? I'm definitely a throwback, and um, let's get it going, okay? It, it is, it's, it is a, it's a shock, you know, like last, yesterday, I, 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 told, I told Mr. Sadu that he, you know, I think all but 90% of my wardrobe had some kind of red or USC on it. I've got, I'm gonna have to run and buy a bunch of new clothes, so. But um, I'm looking forward to this, and um, I'm ready to get going. Thank you, and this is a great chance for me to recognize Teresa. Teresa's our director of athletics, and uh, she has oversight for the football program, so she's a vital <coughs> part of this recruitment pro pro uh, process and looking forward as well. So I can understand we've been working closely with Blake in these last few days. So 